In my religious upbringing, I was taught a lot about God. Nearly all teaching centered around Him. God isn't mentioned much in your talks. Why is that? I think that's a good question. It's a good question because people, when they think about spirituality, when they think about something apart from life, esoteric, they think about God. And they think about God because that's what they were programmed to think about. The problem with religion, from my perspective, is that it has failed. It has not done what it set out to do. It has not reached its aim. It hasn't accomplished its goal. It hasn't gotten there. People were supposed to be becoming like the founder, the leader of whatever the religion accumulated around. And I, I use that term specifically because that's the way I see it. I see it that a religion grows around a person, a leader, someone who actually did something. And then the people who would like to live like that, would like to do that, then are attracted to that person. But then other people are attracted as well. People who don't necessarily want to live like that, but who want to be around somebody who lives like that. That inspires them, that makes them feel safe, that makes them feel good. And so they accumulate. Kind of like over in corners, you have those little dust bunnies that accumulate. They just appear. You don't really know how they got there, where they came from. They're just there. It's like, well, how about that? And that's the way I see religions. It's an accumulative process because it's the process of life, because it's a thing that happens in the world. It, it's not a thing that happens inside. It's not an esoteric thing. It's an exoteric thing. So I don't talk about it a lot because people can't hear it. They can't hear anything that I have to say because when they hear God, they have all of their old associations. They have what they've been taught. They have their religion. They have their outside ceremonies, rituals. I'm a Lutheran. I'm a Methodist. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Pentecostal. I'm a Jew. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Buddhist. And that all gets in the way. All those things are basically stepped down versions of the real deal. So whatever God is, what, what would it matter what I talked about? I say God, and as many different people as hear the word have a different definition of that. So the reason I don't talk about things like that very often is because it's hard enough to get these ideas across to people without them having these religious barriers that keep them from ever understanding anything. I say God, and off they go. They remember the time they were in catechism, or they remember the time they were in Sunday school, or they remember the time that the preacher said this, or the deacon did that. And they're gone. They're lost. So the idea of this whole system is to get people to wake up, not to go to sleep. You talk about religion, you talk about God, people go to sleep. Why do they go to sleep? Because they're filled with old associations and old memories, and they go right back to that. And it's very difficult to get through that stuff. So that's why God isn't mentioned much in my talks and religion isn't mentioned much in my talks. It's not the fault of religion and it's not the fault of God and it's not my fault. It's your fault because you have not done your homework because you have allowed all these old associations to remain embedded in your consciousness, to remain stuck in your eyes so that you can't see anything that isn't filtered through that. So it's your problem and because I have to be mindful of your problems, or else you're never going to get this at all. I don't mention things like that very often. And the few times that I do, I find that it's a problem because people don't seem to be able to understand as readily as they understand if I talk about other things. Does that answer your question? Yes.